Ah, yes, welcome. Ah, I am St. Germain. It is an honor and a pleasure to have you in our presence. We welcome you all. Ah, Tara has been asking uh, questions on weight gain and why uh, 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 in a human body uh, you, uh, your weight goes up and down or uh, some people may have uh, more weight than others. And we would say uh, that it is uh, 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 based on your uh, emotional uh, guidance system, your belief system, and your self-judgments. Uh, some of you have chosen to have a, a body that has has more physical weight uh, so you can experience uh, that aspect of uh, being human uh, but uh, for many of you your weight uh, goes up and down we would say it is uh uh, another experience on uh, planet Earth. It is another way to play the game when you uh, uh, have a, a, a larger body or a smaller body. It is part of your costume and you have chosen your uh, bodies wisely. We would say there is no accident of what body you're in. Even if you were in a body that uh, feels wrong and you changed your gender, it would be uh, that experience that you wanted to experience you see it is not that you are in the wrong body if you are uh, uh, gaining weight and you uh, are wondering why we would say uh, it is a form of protection it is a layer of protection is your uh, skin uh, not the most a uh, uh, largest organ in the body is your skin not your first line of defense yes and underneath the skin is your uh, 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 subcutaneous tissues and it is uh, uh, when you are uh, feeling unsafe on planet earth you must uh, protect yourself and the body will respond uh, when you are running the program of fear the body will respond by uh, 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 putting on weight to uh, as a form of protection the body is doing its job it is doing what you have uh, uh, asked it to you have run the program I uh, am uh, feeling unsafe on planet earth and I uh, do not uh, uh, feel uh, comfortable in my uh, uh, skin and I would like protection and your body responds by putting on layers of protection you see it is the same as if you would uh, wrap a, 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 a yourself in a towel if you had uh, were without clothes it is a form of protection I must wrap a blanket around me so that uh, no one uh, sees me in the the nude and we would say that uh, there are uh, many uh, aspects of you there is your consciousness and you have a, 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 your mental body your emotional body your spiritual body and your physical body are all uh, uh, aspects of consciousness experiencing consciousness in different uh, forms you see and it is that your uh, physical body is uh, uh, experiencing itself in uh, the form of the physical body it is the physical body's consciousness that is also awakening each uh, each of the bodies are awakening uh, to who they are and they are releasing uh, many uh, 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 lifetimes of pain we would say that it is uh, in understanding that each of the aspects within you uh, are going through a process of ascension as well you see is it not uh, um, that the physical body uh, 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 may have had lifetimes where it had been uh, abused uh, it might have had uh, been cold or not fed it might have had no shoes to wear and has had cut its feet on sharp rocks you see there is a uh, much emotional uh, 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 pain uh, within the physical body from lifetimes of abuse and it is uh, coming up to be loved it is here to be loved if you have a weight gain we would recommend that you love your body we would say take a hot bath and uh, thank your body for the job 
job it is doing, uh, give it uh, warm socks and some comfortable shoes to wear throughout the day, uh, dress your body appropriate for the wet weather so it feels loved and protected, uh, thank your body for uh, everything it does, is, is, is it not uh, walking, uh, uh, when you walk is it not uh, in service uh, to you, you see, it is uh, 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 working with you. It is not uh, working against you. When you have a weight gain, it is a, a program that you have created in your reality uh, running in the subconscious that you would uh, prefer to have uh, uh, some protection or we would say... Uh, uh, that it is there for a reason. Uh, ask and talk to the body. Ask and talk to the physical body and ask uh, why it doesn't feel safe. Is it your inner child who doesn't feel safe? Find out what aspect of you is not feeling safe. Explore what aspect of you is running the program of needing to uh, uh, put on weight. We would say that there are um, many... Ah, many of you who criticize yourselves uh, quite frequently for your physical body. We see it when you look in the mirror in the morning and you are uh, criticizing your uh, uh, facial features and when you dress you criticize your physical body. We would recommend you do the opposite of that and constantly compliment yourself. If you constantly compliment your physical body, it will be, feel loved and it will respond back to you with love you see. It will start to form a shape that is comfortable and light. It will be happier. You'll feel a lightness in your uh, physical body as uh, the same feeling you would get after a yoga wor workout or a, a workout at the gym. It is a, a lightness in the body as you skip down the hall and feel good about yourself. You've just done something for the physical body. We would say if you would take the time to do this throughout the day and not focus so much about the weight. It is not uh, about the weight. It is about the emotional reason of why you are overeating or it is the punishment, the self-punishment on the body. Uh, there is much, uh, many people punishing uh, their physical bodies for not doing what they wanted or not looking uh, how they wish. Uh, maybe they are getting judged by others and and thinking if my body was better, then I would be more loved. And we would say it is that your body is wanting love from you and then it will uh, change to your uh, liking. Tara used to focus on her weight and she uh, would criticize quite often. And we would say she doesn't really notice her uh, physical body anymore. She had uh, put on uh, a, a few pounds and was uh, upset about it, but now when she puts on weight she does not really notice it is not a focus anymore you see ah uh, if she does notice her pants are getting a little tight she will say ah the physical body is trying to tell me a message ah uh, is it my inner child doesn't feel safe is it uh, uh, I have not cleared an emotion that I am uh, hanging on to there is an issue uh, we would say uh, to go in and work with your inner child and love uh, your inner child it is uh, uh, wanting to be heard and it is saying I, I do not feel safe there are many different um, uh, information on the internet about inner children. We will not get into too much detail on that at this time. Ah, oh, one moment please. Our channel needs water.
uh, we would like to uh, point out that it is uh, 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 needing protection when you are running programs of fear. As you awaken uh, uh, to who you are as consciousness, you will uh, uh, realize that it is a, 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 a third dimension based program of fear running. I uh, am uh, needing to protect myself from something and we would say uh, if you are all that is what do you need to protect yourself from it is uh, you are consciousness you are the universe the universe is you it is allowing uh, all that arises to flow through you it is connecting your consciousness with the consciousness of all at this time you are still running uh, third dimension programs of fear if there is fear behind your words or your thought you are in a third dimension perspective you are in a third dimension reality if you are uh, standing in love without fear we would say you are in a fifth dimension reality you are in a fifth dimension perspective it is uh, awakening uh, to who you are is is not um, uh Ah, it is not a, a place. You are not going anywhere when you move from third dimension to fifth. It is a state of consciousness. You are uh, 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 awakening to remembering who you are as consciousness and standing in the now moment without fear. If there is a fear behind your thoughts or your words, you are in a, a, a third dimension uh, perspective. You are in the past or the future and you are in the uh, illusion of the egoic mind. Uh, that there uh, is uh, something you need to protect yourself from. Because you are uh, still running these uh, belief systems, you are putting on weight as a form of protection. But as you awaken uh, to remembering who you are and to let go of the, the third dimension fear-based programs, you will not need to uh, protect yourself from anything and you will uh, realize that it has been a, an illusion of uh, fear. Ah, if Tara walks into the mall and there is uh, uh, other people and she says, ah, I need to protect myself from their energy, uh, is she not projecting out fear? If she is consciousness. If she stands in the now moment and expands out her consciousness uh, and raises her vibration uh, and uh, says, I will not allow uh, this uh, uh, any fear-based energies into my reality, then that is what she will create. But it is not about uh, needing to protect yourself. That is a, a, a third dimension program. That is uh, the old way. We would say it is stepping into the now and stepping into the new. Uh, find out what you are afraid of uh, so you no longer need to uh, uh, have protection. As you uh, do this, your body will adjust accordingly. It will let go of uh, uh, many layers of uh, protection that you have created uh, in uh, the form of um, weight. Ah, connect with uh, your spirit. Connect with who you are and, uh, and uh, uh, let go of the fears. All is well. You are uh, all on your spiritual journey. You are all on your... Ah, oh, we do, uh, we would like to uh, correct that. You are all on your journey. Ah. Oh. We do not use the term spiritual journey as it implies that you are seeking something outside of yourself. Everything is within you. Uh, it, it, do not look outside of yourself when you are seeking your truth. Go inside. It is all uh, within you. It is not without you. Uh, there is no seeking outside of yourself. This is also a third dimension uh, perspective that I need to uh, seek outside of myself. Uh, it, everything uh, that you are seeking is within. It is within your heart. It is uh, uh, within your consciousness. Yes, we would uh, recommend to uh, love the body, uh, the physical body unconditionally. If you wish for something to change, it, uh, it love it and it will transmute back to love. It is the light of your consciousness that will transmute uh, any fear-based energies back to love within any of your body systems, you see. Ah, oh, thank you.